every person speaking against the names Danaea Jackson and Derek Jackson in mockery, accusation, slanders, and lies, may the mercies of God be withdrawn from you. May your husbands and wives become widows. Let your children become fatherless. Let your seed become vagabonds on the earth. Let the words of your mouth and your words of your hands be returned back to you. Let it go down your throat and choke you slowly until your days become few on the earth. The word of God says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. You've been warned. And if you want to know where that is at in the Bible, go to Psalm 109. Go to Psalm 35, go to Psalm 140, go to Psalm 141, and keep our names out of your mouth in the name of Jesus. Have a blessed day. And that was Mrs. Denea Jackson, wife of social media influencer and relationship guru, Derek Jackson. Thanks for joining me. This is My View, My Opinion, a commentary program where we get together at any given time, at any given day, and we just talk about what's trending out there in the world via the conversation on social media or some trending event. And I do the best I can to relate what's happening out there to what's happening in here on the inside of me and on the inside of you, because I come from the perspective of what can we learn from it? And so that is our purpose in this conversation today. So let me tell you kind of what that was all about. It's still a little bit confusing for people, but a few hours ago, uh, Danea Jackson released the video on social media that you just heard with me there. Um, Most people are at this point, at least at the moment I'm making this broadcast, by the time it's released, there may be more information available. But most people are saying they don't quite know what this was about because it kind of came out of nowhere. Meaning at the time that she released her social media post, there ain't nobody talking about Derrick Jackson. No one has been talking about Derrick Jackson really since YouTube vlogger Latasha Kibi or Tasha K exposed him for cheating and being a hypocrite a few years ago, actually last year uh, in the early part of 2021. So what we are assuming is that because she did make this video seemingly out of nowhere, that it really wasn't, that there's something going on behind the scenes. And of course, this is common sense. There's something that has happened behind the scenes with these people, these people again. And very possibly she's aware that Latasha Kibi or Tasha K or another vlogger has some video of her husband, some other mistress that's come out, some somebody, and that the story is about to be exposed to the world again. And so she's endeavoring, you know, possibly to get ahead of the story by coming out and doing what we just heard her do. So for those of you who don't really recall who Derek Jackson is, listen, until Latasha exposed him, I never even heard of him. I also never heard of the guy who died a few months back that everyone was to Kevin Samuels. I never heard of that name until this stuff with Derek Jackson, because Tasha K mentioned him. You know, I am not on social media like that. I don't pay attention to people like that. Um, I am not one to sit and, and let people take my intelligence for granted by running all kinds of scams and schemes, right? So I very often don't know, like a lot of you, who a lot of these folks are until something goes down. But let me just bring uh, you up to speed. So Derek Jackson, several years ago, he came and rose to social media fame by giving relationship advice to women on YouTube. He would sit in his car and he would just talk to women and he became very popular. One of the most talked about videos that he did is when he was sitting in his car and he had a t-shirt on that said stretch mark lover. (laughs) You know, I thought when I first saw that, If folks didn't know he was running a game, that should have told them. But y'all know how it is. As women, we want to believe that someone's really out to help us. And so we just open our hearts and minds to any old person, right? So he rose to fame and he came from the point of view that he was a Christian man. And he was exposed by by Tasha. I mean, so many women came forward and said, listen, I've had sex with him. They had videos, they had pictures, they had text messages. And then the final uh, straw was a lady came out to Tasha K and alleged that he was, she was his mistress and she had pictures of him and her in his house. And she alleged that she had sex with him in the same bed that he shares with his wife. Derek was married with two children. 
Now, after the mistress was revealed, people wanted to hear what Derek had to say. And so Derek and his wife, Denea, who we heard there, they did a video together. Okay. The infamous video of her in the bonnet. Okay. Where he admitted, yes, he has cheated on her. And she admitted she's very much aware that he's cheated on her, but they worked through it as a couple. And guess what? He had a book coming out. I remember telling y'all years ago, I really think that this guy paid, and I don't have any proof of this. This is just truly my view, my opinion, that he kind of orchestrated that whole thing, just like celebrities do right before they have this humongous project coming out. They will cause some ruckus to bring attention to themselves, thereby bringing attention to their new project. Well, we later learned that several of the women had lied. They had, in essence, catfished Latasha Kay, and uh, they actually had never had any kind of contact with him. They just said, hey, listen, we wanted to fool her. We just wanted to get her caught up in lies. And so we did. But we never really quite knew about these other women. But again, he did and, you know, admit that he had cheated on his wife several times. So that's the trending story. And again, people are talking about this video she released today, Tuesday, November 15th. So let me give you my view on the view, excuse me, my view, my opinion, and then we're going to transition into what can we learn from it. You know, I, if you've been with me for years, you know that one of my, uh, one of the things I'm very passionate about is growth. And so very often in my teaching and talking, um, I, I issue a lot of truth and common sense because those are the things that help all of us grow. Me too, right? Uh, I have to grow too, just like you do. And so the only way to grow is to face the truth about yourself first. Remember, get the moat out of your own eye. (laughs) We got to get the moats out of our own eyes before we can get it out of somebody else's. So facing the truth about yourself and then, you know, living a life of truth. And when you don't live a life of truth, making that right and then continuing on the truthful path. That's the only way to to real happiness and growth and healthy relationships. But if you've been with me, you also know I believe in compassion and mercy when it's called for. And I will tell you, I still feel the same way about Denea that I felt when all this stuff happened a year or so ago. Every single time I see her, I see a little sister in Christ. And I can never have harsh words for her. I can never have a strong rebuke for her. I can never have words of correction for her because when I see her, I see myself. I see a young lady who is trying her best to love God I see a young lady who is being taught how to exercise her spiritual authority, which is what she was endeavoring to do on that video. It came across very clumsily um, because she wasn't quite sure herself what she was doing. I suspect like when I was her age, uh, you know, you're under this ministry that's trying to teach you how to exercise your authority in Christ Jesus and that we can curse things that are coming up against us and all these types of things. And so you endeavor to do that, but you don't really understand what you're doing. And when you do it, 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 it comes across very clumsily. And so when I see her, my heart goes out to her for a number of reasons, because again, I see myself. So I don't have any harsh words for her. I don't have the criticisms and the mockery that a lot of folks, I didn't have it even when she had the bonnet on. Heck, she's a mom of two kids. How many women out there who have children who understand what it's like? Sometimes you don't get a bath that day. Sometimes you can't comb your hair your, that day. You say, well, she could have just take the th- took the thing off. My view, <laughs> my view, my opinion for the video. I agree with you. But see, I understand. I don't have any children. A lot of you know that. But my sisters have children. So I understand. I understand how it goes. And so I just could I I just could only have compassion on her. But what I will say is this. I don't really know what's going on with these two people. And I'm not even going to surmise what could be going on. But what I do know is that whatever relationship you have, whether it's boyfriend, girlfriend, marriage, you have to have strong boundaries. And those boundaries have to be articulated so that when they're crossed, the person knows what the consequence is for those, for crossing those, those lines and those boundaries. And even though it's, you know, some years later, here we are with these people. Because again, common sense, you know, one plus one equals two. 
She would have made this only because something is going on behind the scenes. And because she said, keep our names out your mouth, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, you know, it seems he's probably cheated again. (laughs) And like I said, some story is about to come out. And so I feel sorry for her that she is with this guy who has a problem. He has a problem. And I fear that she will continue to go through this as long as she's with him. As long as she's with him. Were you with me a few days ago and we were talking about maybe a couple of weeks ago now when I was sharing with you what I learned <clears throat> all those years ago when I was doing investigative interviews, you see, I was so naive. I actually believe because, you know, it, you know, as a human being, you just kind of naturally believe this, that because you love somebody, you'll change. That the fact that you love such and such will cause you to change. And I really thought that not just romantic love, but any kind of human to human love. I thought if a parent loves their child enough, they will change their behavior until I started working with abused children and families. And I saw parents who loved their kids. I knew they loved those kids. And yet they could not change their behavior. And they knew their destructive behavior was hurting their children. And God had to teach me. You see, love doesn't make people change. Human to human, I'm talking about. The fact that they love their kids, it ain't enough. People change because they are ready to change. They're tired of fill in the blank. And so they start the process of changing. And sometimes, because we don't really fully understand what's happening on the inside of us, we'll say, oh, I changed for such and such. But that if we were to really lay it all out on the table, we would see that's not really what the catalyst of change was. That may have been the motivating factor, but it wasn't the catalyst, which are two different things. So I wished... You know, looking at this couple, I wish I could be that naive person to say, because he loves her, he'll change. He'll stop cheating. He'll stop lying. He'll stop manipulating. He'll stop filling the blank. But see, I I know now that's not the way it works. If it wasn't her, he'd be with some other girl and he'd be cheating because that's who he is. Remember, we talked about this, ladies. When you meet a man, he is already who he is. He didn't just get that way when you met him. He had lived a number of years before he met you, which means all of his ways, all of his habits, the way he makes decisions, the way he lived his life, those things were set before he met you. So when you meet him, if he cheats on you, you don't take that on and say, oh, what did I do? No, he was a cheater when you met him. You didn't know that, or maybe you did, you ignored it. It just, I don't know. You see, we've talked about all this stuff and all those broadcasts are still here. I know a lot of times people want you to repeat stuff you said before because they don't go back and listen to all those stuff, but you're going to have to. So as I end, what can we learn from this? Well, guys, it's so much, so much. I would say for me, this is what I take away from it. You can't change nobody. Your prayers ain't going to change them. Your fasting, I'm sure Denea has fasted and prayed. I'm, 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 I'm positive of it. And see, he's still possibly out there cheating. See what we're going to remember. I told you in a few hours is all going to come out. Um, you see, being a spiritual woman isn't going to change a man. Loving him ain't going to change him. Praying for him for hours ain't going to change him. Cursing, getting online and trying to curse people. That's not going to change him. It hasn't. And it's not going to, because that's not the way things work. Also, what I'm taking away from this, guys, is that this is just a reminder that when your man brings shame on you and your family, you can't get mad at folks that are talking about it. (laughs) That's called misdirected anger. He's the one that you need to turn all your if you're going to be cursing somebody and, you know, trying to, you know, exercise spiritual authority. You need to turn it on him. Of course, it ain't going to work on him either. You get, I'm just being facetious here. But the point I'm making is we all can see as women how foolish she looks. Because we all know by virtue of common sense, we ain't your problem, Denea. He is. So coming online and trying to exercise spiritual authority and cursing people to death because your husband is out here, can't keep his pants up. That is very silly. 
is backwards. It's backwards because he's a public figure and he's out there allegedly, supposedly cheating with various women. So if those women decide to come out and expose the relationship they have with him, they have a right to do that because they were a part of the relationship. And people whose job is to give commentary, they have a right to discuss it. And so trying to, you know, so this is just a reminder, I think, ladies, of all the and guys, shout out to all my men listening, of things we all know. It's kind of like, you know, guys, you know, you're with this woman and then you think, you know, you're going to go fight somebody over her. No, you need to turn your attention to her, not fight her, but turn your attention to her and say, why did you do this? I mean, you're putting me in a situation where I could lose my life behind your foolishness and your, your, you know, your ridiculousness. That ain't going to happen. This is over deuces, right? So for me, I think what we can learn from this is it's just really nothing we can quote unquote learn. It's just a reminder of the things we already know. This ain't how this is supposed to go. She shouldn't be out here doing this. He should stop doing what he's doing and she should be able to live in peace with her husband, but that's not what's going to happen here. So guys, those are my thoughts on it. That's what I think we can learn from it and take away from this. What about you? Drop down in the comments and let me know. Um, Do you agree with me that in this situation, there's not something we can technically learn. It's just a reminder of the stuff we already know. Let me know in the description, excuse me, in the comment section. Now, listen, before you leave me today, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, especially if you're going to comment, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I try to be fair. Listen, and listen, if you're feeling really inspired, you can always donate to the program by the cash app link that's in the description box. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. And as this story develops, I'll be covering it. I'll talk to you later.